Hi everyone, this is Daniel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this Thai style makeup look. Let's get started. So I do for the first step I'm using water just to cleanse my wing skin. And I am using Lama Skincare today. So this is the um firming mask that they have and it helps the puff in the skin if you're having like a puffy face or like um, getting ready for some big events, you can use that. It helps a lot. So I'm using the Lame Renew Oil that I always use, just to soften the skin. And the treatment lotion and help extra layers of hydration to the iron skin. So you can see iron skin is now glowy and more plumped. And then I'm using number iconic product, the moisturizing cream that help nourishing your skin and calming smoothing your skin as well. So I massage it all the way from forehead, both of the uh, cheekbones, and the jawline, and to finish off with number eye concentrate. It's always nice to have a little pamper moment when you're doing makeup. And the lip balm I use is always Tatcha, the gold uh, spoon lip balm. So for the first layer of uh, the complexion, I'm actually using Chanel base, uh, La Beige uh, shimmering products. So I put it all over just to have the refreshing from the skin. And then I share them out with the sponge. And then I'm using Shot to re um, color corrector all over the eyes and the eye area, I mean. So it helped um, give extra depth to the skin and help the popping as well. And just to color them, like even it out the colors. And I'm using a foundation with um, Hollywood Flawless Filter that uh, mixed with um, Average Flawless Foundation to give a really nice coverage and demi matte finish to the skin. So you can see the skin is more like um, plums up and like wet carpet skin that we always looking for. For Thai makeup, we always want uh, the coverage to be higher and the makeup gonna be like staying longer because uh, in Thailand it got like humid and heat so you might sweat a lot so a little bit more than usual and staying longer and I'm using like a lighter concealer just to highlight the features in the center area of the face and also the nose area that I bring all the way from the beach of the nose to the tip like a tiny stroke and make sure it's straight and then tap it with the sponge, just dab it to make sure they're all in place and well blended. And the other point from Thai makeup is always about like contouring and like this uh, sculpture, um, how we sculpt the face. So I'm using uh, Makeup by Mario, the um, contour stick. Um, the shade I'm using is light medium, so uh, I actually contour in uh, her forehead uh, around the cheekbones, I mean like under the cheekbones and jawline as well, just to enhance the features a little bit more. And then brand them with uh, the foundation brush we used earlier. Make sure um, you brand it seamlessly and there's no harsh line. Yep, and there we go. We're doing a blush from Chanel as well. So this is the water tint uh, blush, actually water fresh brush. And I like I like the color with more peachy, that more have having like a Thai style, I guess. So like a gentle layer, and then I set the under eye area with um 
Chitirin uh, Airbrush Force Powder as always. Just uh, tap it and you can see like how full it is. So blurring. And then, and another point uh, from Thai makeup that we have to focus is brows. So I'm using Anastasia brow face. So I just brush them all the way back and all the way like the hair, hair growth uh, uh, direction. And then leave them a little bit uh, when we're doing the eye makeup. So we just leave it like that and uh, we go back to the uh, brows later. And we use uh, like a natural sculpted shape from Chateaubriand, the Super Nude uh, palette, uh, the warmer side, the lightest color. So bring that colors all the way from the crease area to underneath as well. And then I uh, using uh, one shade darker, the same palette uh, with a smaller brush, just to enhance a little bit from the uh, lid area. The shape I will be doing is more about like elongate the eyes, so more focus on the inner corner and outer corner to lift the center area a bit narrow. And using the darkest shade from the palette, uh, that is warm, and enhance again. Repeat the same step and then make sure the edges is soft and well branded. And then you could use uh, like a shimmering shade from um, any palette that you have, and I'm using the one from Chanel, the La Beige collection uh, in warm, the shimmering shade, so just it uh, brightens the inner corner and the underneath area as well, and slightly a little bit on the uh, center of the eyeball area. And then you could light your uh, eye with an eyeliner, and just to fill in the gaps between lashes, and pull out the, the eyeliner. You don't have to do like a really, really intense thick, but um, I personally like more like a lengthening one, so it's like a longer one that pull out from the eye, but not too high, the angle we're going for. Yep, that's the idea that we are doing. And then I use like a brown pencil just to enhance a little bit on uh, lower lashes, the root of the lower lashes. So make sure it's look fuller and then more intense so you can see the difference. Very gentle but um, nothing too intense but uh, more harmony that the eye that we, we are creating. And then I'm using sweet uh, individual lashes just to make uh, the eyes more volume. That's also uh, you know, the focus from Thai makeup that having volumized lashes. So I'm actually using like this uh, similar length all the way from inner corner to outer corner. And with uh, two coats of uh, mascara from Maybelline, this the sky high mascara and then use like the eyelash color like a heater one just to make your lower lashes even more opened. So you see like I do like layers of mascara. Okay, we are going back to brows. So brush them up with uh their own direction and then fill in with um a tinted brow gel from Sha Tilby, the legendary brows, just to enhance a little bit of the colors. This Irene's got like a um, bronze hair today, so I'm using actually like a pencil just to fill in a little bit gap between her brows and nothing too uh, strong, more like a soft, um, pushy brows. And I'm using a Chanel bronzer all the way uh, as a brush. And a nude lip is always the look for Thai makeup. So this is uh, the shade for um, Copper Star from Char Tilbury. And I'm using a lip gloss from Makeup by Mario. That uh, the shade called Soft Nude. You may find all those products in uh, the description box if you want to. So like overdrawing a little bit on the cupid's bow and um, make sure you highlight the skin after as well. 
So the highest point of the cheekbone and then tip of the nose and the bridge of the nose as well. So you see in that uh, harmony, peachy colors and sculpted face with fluffy brows and um, unreal lashes. This is all the focus for Thai makeup. Let me, let me know how you feel about this look and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends that we have like a tutorial that is for more for Asian. Love this look. Thank you so much.